Howdy folks, hope you're all enjoying your weekend, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, after last week's episode, where Sean got his head blown off in an ambush and double-crossed by the Greys, and John Moss and son Jack got kidnapped by the Braithwaites, leading to us killing all of them and burning their plantation house down, you could be forgiven for thinking that things couldn't possibly get any worse. Except you'd be wrong. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity, and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing... It's done. This place... Ain't no such thing. It's civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny. You go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get gone. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. 
Great, now the Pinkertons know we're here as well. We've only just arrived and we're already on the run, except with one dead, one kidnapped and no money. Easy. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure of nothing. All right, let's leave the horses here and take a look. Yeah, this place was a hideout for the Lemoyne Raiders. There may still be some of them here. Still some here. All right, looks like we're going in. Double barrel shotgun? Yeah. Pump action shotgun would be better though. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. I like the way when you're coming from a bright lit area into a dimly lit area, like from outside to inside. Initially, you can't see a thing. I mean, I mean, I don't like it, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's an authentic touch. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Who the hell do you think you are? Dead or alive? You're leaving this place today! Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you! You're the one hiding, I'm me! You think you're tough, Yankee? Come in here and fight me like a man! Oh, I'm gonna be real happy to shut you up! I knew you'd come. What? One of them's in bed? Soon enough? You are some of the coward. Like you? Don't do it, old man. The bounty hunters? The freedmen, the carpetbaggers, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. Well, I guess he got sick of all the moonshine. Speaking of which, does he have anything on him? What? It's no good to him. <laughs> right. <laughs> Still a few more up here. You're about to come to the an end, really? Oh, a cheeky bugger hiding behind the door. Didn't do him any good. Alright, one more in the room next door. Now he will... Oh, that's just a cupboard. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, he was covering the hole in the wall, and I didn't seem to be able to shoot through the staircase. Come on now, girly! Fight me like a goddamn man! That manly enough for you? How's it looking up there? I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Come help me with this, will you? Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Yeah, body cleanup detail. This is going to be fun. Let's uh, loot them first. Can you grab that one there? Yeah, all right, John. Hold your horses. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Well, it's convenient, but it's going to attract a lot of gators. Then again, this is a swamp. We can't exactly bury them. You dig a foot down and you hit water. If you ever go to New Orleans, for example, you'll notice that the graveyards, they're actually tombs built above ground for exactly that reason. So I suppose it really is the only practical solution. Gators will be eating well today. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. All right, see you soon. I hope. Welcome home, Ollie. Two 
uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Believe that girl. All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. Where we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. OK, there she is, a real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Saint Denis, which is basically New Orleans. And welcome to Chapter 4. So, the Braithwaite's gave Jack, John Marston's son, to some local Italian mobster by the name of Bronte. Shouldn't be too hard to track down. When you get to Saint Denis, however, you don't necessarily have to be in any kind of burning rush to actually continue the storyline because there are so many different things to do here. I mean, when I reached this point in the game, I must have spent at least another four or five days just running around Saint Denis, meeting the people here, doing missions, exploring, heading off the beaten track and just doing all the things that there were to do here rather than rushing to find this Bronte person. The first thing that I did was get myself a new horse. I've got more than a thousand dollars burning a hole in my pocket at this point, so I traded in my horse for the finest Arabian stallion that Saint Denis had to offer. Spent a few hundred dollars more upgrading my saddle, tack and harness, and then mounted upon one of the finest animals in the game. Almost immediately upon leaving the stable, I heard a familiar voice. Hang on, didn't we bump into this guy in Rhodes? Is he still looking for Gavin? Evening. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? No. No. We were best mates. 
We really best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav. Well, good luck with that. Gav. But yeah, I've got things. Uh, oh. Gav. Where are you? Where are you? First order of business, shave and a haircut. Now you can take care of business yourself in camp with a shaving mirror, but if you go to an actual barber, you get a much, much wider range of options. Uh, you lose the scissors in your house? Grab a seat, let's get to work. Only a trim or something fancy like? That's pretty decent. Yeah, that'll do. Nothing fancy. And then, with a fresh change of clothes, I thought it was around about time I at least make an effort to inquire about this Bronte fella. And this is the biggest and fanciest saloon in town, with the biggest and fanciest whiskey in town, so it seems like a good place to start. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Oh boy, this place sure is fancy. I'm gonna have a hard time blending in. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> That's why we love it. Born and <clears throat> rich. Excuse me. Ooh. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states they lucky to have. Hello? I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so swally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how to get. Oh, and friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Them's mighty bold words for a man whose entire country was built by immigrants. And before so you, you start, yes, even the Native Americans, they originally no. came from Asia. Up until around about 20,000 years ago, Alaska was actually connected to the Asian mainland in Siberia via a land bridge, which is now the Bering Straits. Anyway, I need to speak to some kids in an alley about Angelo Bronte. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. That's a bad bread. 
Here. Come on. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... I bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. You better Top tip. Right when you're running around sand and in pursuit of anything, be really careful you don't bump into anybody, because they treat that as assault around here and it's a shooting offense. And I'm serious. Be really careful. Try to avoid bumping into bystanders. Damn it! Where's my fancy new horse one on the Oh, there it is! Oh, that was convenient. It's almost as if that was deliberate. Strange, strange man. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Since when? Since forever. I, I read it in the Good morning, sir. Oh, Good morning. So it must be true. So they tell you your dog's a cat now. You just start calling him Mr. Boo! They make half of them up. Oh, what do you have for me? Stop, little shit! Mm. Mm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. Kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, ah. come on. You new in town, Mister? Come on. Mister Bronte's got a lot of friends, Mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, Mister. Mister Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. 
He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. Well, it didn't exactly go according to plan, but it kind of got the job done. Sort of. Close enough. Ben, getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. You know it ain't gonna be that simple. This, by the way, was the point where I spent most of the next week just riding around Lemoyne County in the city of Saint Denis, exploring, meeting people, doing side quests. I could easily have done another four or five videos detailing what I got up to, but in the interests of keeping the plot moving along, I'm going to be brief and just leave you with this very important public safety announcement. If you decide to go riding around the swamps of Lemoyne County at night, keep a gun in your hand and keep your eyes open because there is a particularly vicious and nasty gang that roam the swamps at night and you will not hear them coming. On this particular occasion, one of many, I was just out at night minding my own business doing a spot of game hunting when I heard somebody who appeared to be in some form of distress. She seems upset, wouldn't want to alarm her, better put my weapons away. Did you hear them coming? Because I sure as hell didn't. We'll be bumping into more of these guys later, but for now, let's get back on with the plot and the hunt for Angelo Bronte. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Yeah, yeah, Dutch, that was, uh, that was real smooth. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. 
nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman. <laughs> Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy, I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild, so maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. So, just in case you weren't keeping track of what happened there, we came here to negotiate the release of one hostage, and now we're going out with a job to do for Bronte, and he's got two hostages, Dutch and Jack, so... Great job, Dutch. Don't give up your day job. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Rance. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. And sure enough, here are these Swampland cemeteries I was talking about earlier. You try digging a six foot deep grave in Swampland and by the time you get six feet down, you're five feet underwater. This way. So people have been breaking into the tombs and robbing the graves without paying tribute to Bronte and he wants us to stop it. Seems like an awfully cheap price to get Jack back. I can't help but feel there's going to be a catch. How do they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Master? Peace? One day. I'm gonna push ahead. 
You wash my back. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but we won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Both John, I can't see shit. We sure picked the right night for it. You can hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, No, no. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have the drink. You made a big mistake coming in, huh? Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit! It's the law! Let's go! Maybe we can get out that law! Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it! Come on. We best stick to the side. Actually, shoot your way out of this, but uh, I'm in enough trouble in San Denis as it is. Let's at least try to do this properly. With me. Just go in and talk to the man, he said. It'll be easy, he said. Trust me, he said. Yeah, thanks for this, Dutch. Next time, you can go poking around in the graveyard at night, and I'll stay in the nice mansion house enjoying fine whiskey. All right, the law behind us, and my horse is just on the other side of that wall. Yeah, definitely. You should absolutely split up when you're searching for armed gunmen at night in the middle of a maze of above-ground tombs. You keep that up and you'll make police commissioner in no time. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Yeah, that wasn't so hard. Even better, I didn't have to shoot any lawmen. Come on, quick! Let's get back to Dutch! Well... 
It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Can't you control that damn horse? Like I said, we should see where we're at once we got Jack. So we scare off a bunch of grave robbers and Dante's just gonna give us Jack back. Is it really gonna be that simple? Alright, let's get this done. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, Wait, it really was that simple? You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Oh, God, no. I can see the wheels turning in Dutch's head already. He's cooking up a scheme. We can't ever just seem to quit while we're ahead. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Well, on the plus side, we got Jack back and we didn't have to kill anybody important. On the downside, you can see that the wheels are already turning in Dutch's head as he's trying to figure out how to take Bronte for everything that he's worth. He's only just met the man and he's already underestimating him, thinking he can get one over on him, just the same way he's underestimated the Pinkertons, the Greys, the Braithwaites and Colmo Driscoll. There will be tears before this is all over. All of that and many other things besides coming up in a future episode. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you all have a great weekend. And as always, take care. And I'll catch you next time. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Canta, llores, llores. 
que cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. No se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones.